Prince Mkhize might have been the toast of Durban for his music. As it turns out, the dedicated jazz student always had a talent for design, and that is what won the day. Hello everyone, my name is Prince Tavisom Mkhize, and I'm taking you right where it all started. This is Guamashu, the streets that contributed to the guy that I am today, shaped me, and yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys around. So growing up in this place taught me a lot about compassion, but furthermore, it's also just brought a lot of constructivity in my thinking, in my implementation, execution of things, clean and precise. So I remember that I was always the it boy, I'm sorry to say. I was always the it boy and I was always the best dressed. I think I really take that from my mom and dad. You know, they're very much fashionable people, very much on trend, very much on point. I've always had the dream of owning a fashion line. Working in retail really placed a demand in my heart for just the bespoke lifestyle because I feel like we've lost that as a nation. My heart of heart is to really bring back the lost art of bespoke tailoring. It was a trend which his grand Tembani Ngubane and father Bongani Ngubane identified early on. Utabe <laughs> Eton Pio, Ingan Elalilayo, and forty Ingan Ecotel. Utaviso, Sim Ukule Gashe, Etonip, Ezitanda, Sam Fiselag, Uta Kubega Kul, Unalu, Esigbono, a yon. First of all, I didn't pay for my grand and dad to speak like that. <laughs> all that was said was true. Uh, for the constant support, the love, and just embracing me for who I am and for what I've been through. Losing his mother, Lindiwe Mkize, and having to fight for his own financial survival only made him more determined. Welcome to my atelier. This is Prince Bespokes and this is where all the magic happens. So we are based here in the Basel and Hustle of the CBD. This is where all our lawyers here in Durban are and it speaks to our clientele, speaks to our consumer and it speaks to our DNA because these are men at work. So the heart and vision of Prince Bespokes is bringing the lost art of bespoke tailoring back to life. And our business is not necessarily selling a garment or a suit. We are in this business to turn regular men into individuals of class, you know. We want to teach on mannerisms, we want to teach on etiquettes. In his jazz studies, this artist used to play alto saxophone and sing. He now makes music with fabric, cut, colour and master tailoring. Prince is focusing on planning, administering and showcasing his latest ranges. So the whole collection was um, so much more inspired by our clients and where we are based. So it's precision, it's tailoring, it's craftsmanship, bringing a, a lot of fashionable elements to it. With his grandfather's faith as an influence, the unseen element in Prince's fashion are the values he lives by. As you can see in Lungis's garment, the garment is titled Healing Time. That's because we are saying at Prince Bespokes, let's start that dialogue, let's begin that dialogue, and let's unravel all these misconceptions and all these narratives that need to be aligned and clarified. Such bold choices encourage township kids who might fear failure. Siabonga Ngongoma models his garments with pride. As a brand on its own, extremely classic. The professionalism, it's just out of this world. It's very much extremely beautiful, enthusiastic and outgoing. I like Prince Bespoke's brand because it speaks to who we are as people. He is local and you can get your formal wear and casual wear. The feature that I love about the suit is, is the pants, especially this side, the detail in it 
and the, the fact that it's, it's, it's actually like a two-piece in a sense, the color, the context of it, it's just, it's comfortable. I feel like a billion dollar wearing it, honestly. Currently working on an upcoming shoe collection, Prince has a spring in his step. We feel it's about time as Africans to reown our narrative and tell it. So you cannot beat the Americans at being Americans, you know, uh, but we can compete as Africans with Americans because we know our stories best and we can tell them best. From Kwamashu to the world, it's a masterclass how this determined, cool, calm and inspired African creative goes about his business. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.